Good morning, party people. I am in the Seattle, Washington area. If you are within a one hour drive or so of Seattle and you would like to have a meet and greet, you need me to help you with something, you want me to help you diagnose something, get in touch with me today. Don't delay. Here's the phone number. That's first thing off the park. Yesterday morning, interesting phone call, six o'clock in the morning. Who calls people at six in the morning? Challenging conversation. The person was presenting themselves to me as if they wanted to help me, but it quickly turned into a conversation where these people were trying to destroy me. I am not, I don't think I'm in a position to be destroyed. I don't think that I'm trying to build any kind of kingdom or reputation or nothing like that. I'm simply trying to help people that's in need and help people that can use a little help. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated. The sad part about it is when you post a message like I did Sunday, almost every time I've done it throughout my life, the people that challenge me or I would say come against me are the people that proclaim to be most like me. This is not a competition. I'm not trying to outdo anybody. I'm not trying to one-up anybody. I'm not trying to be smarter than anybody. I'm not trying to be, I don't know, you know, whatever it is, let it go. You know, do yourself a favor. Have a nice day. I really hope you do. That's that. Still in the red. No big deal. But I do appreciate the people that have sent donations to try to get me out of the red. That's awesome. Incredible. I appreciate it. I tell people every $5 counts. So I appreciate those donations. And it's helping. It really is. So I'm still in the Seattle area. If you need a little help, get in touch with me. If you want to have a meet and greet, get in touch with me. If you need some help diagnosing something, get in touch with me. If you need to order parts, get in touch with me. And if you have parts, I can help you. If you don't have parts, let me know what you're dealing with. Maybe we can get your parts in time. So that's where I'm at. Yesterday, I pretty much got rained out. I was able to run some errands and able to pick up some parts, but really wasn't able to do much. Rained almost the whole day. So in today's video clip, it shows when I arrived in the Seattle area and went to pick up my new ride. I went to a place called T Zero Racing. You can Google them. They're in the Seattle area. Just some amazing things with vehicles. Gosh, 100 years old and newer. So you thought I played with old cars? These people are taking cars that are 80 years old and driving them on 3,500 mile road trips and road rallies. I'm telling you, man, service the vehicle, put it on the road, and fear not, you know. So I wanted to share some clips with you that I recorded there, and then we'll get into some of the uh, clips with me helping people around this area. So after I leave here, whether it's tomorrow or the next day, whenever I leave here, I'm going to be headed south, south of Seattle. If you are in between Seattle and Los Angeles, call or text me, and hopefully we can get together and provide you whatever help, assistance, or fun that we can enjoy together. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Man, look at that thing. And then went back there. I mean, what is this, a Chevrolet? It's a 38. Well, it's, Robert, it's one of these. Okay. This is how it started. All right, so it looked like this. It looked like this. Until y'all kind of. Well, no, actually, this this was modified in South America. Uh-huh. As a tribute to Juan Fangio. So, so this is a 38 Chevrolet? Yeah. Did that? This is what Juan Fangio's rally cars looked like in the day. Okay. So somebody in South America built it this way. 
and then we got it, you know, freshen it up and erase it in the way it goes. Here we go, folks. I'm four decades the BMWs. This is probably my favorite BMW. I mean, I like some of the 3 Series cars, but this one here just has that classy look on it. This is a car we specialize in. Okay. Man, look at that. Number plate on this. Oh, this is what you were talking about. So this is the first one that hit the soil. Yeah. Wow. That is freaking awesome. And this is an 82? No, no, it's not 67, 68 model here. Oh, it's a 60, 68. And 67, this one and another one. Oh, okay. So. And this is the one you're restoring right now? Um, you might be using the word restore differently than I do. <laughs> it's here for a brake job. Okay. I bought that one on bringing a trailer. That's that it. Stock engine. We just uh, we just upgraded the transmission. The stock. Okay. Transmission was kind of a piece of job. So this wagon wasn't, I don't think, but there's a there's another Nash that looked very similar to this. It's a four door cross country that was um, designed. Body was de designed by Pin and Farina. Okay. Man, that's a long two door. <laughs> yeah. Whoo wee. I feel like I'm in a museum. <laughs> a 29 Phantom Rolls Royce. Now that's, now that's the rod. You don't want to bend that rod. Can you still get those things? Or you gotta... Yeah, but these are fine. Look at the oil line. Oil squirters in them. Isn't that gorgeous up to the That line? is. Yeah. That's freaking incredible. And these are the pistons out of it? Yep. Or is that something else? Yep. Oh, man. That's the site right there. How long ago did she get it new or uh, no, she got it somewhere along the road? In the 60s. In the 60s? Yeah. Wow. Real estate out of there. Yeah. Get out of here. The maiden voyage. <laughs> <laughs> Your co-pilot doesn't seem to have that smile going. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah, still shaking her head. She she been up most of the night with me. <laughs> All right. Drive safe. Thank you. I'm riding along here. It says it's getting 19.3 miles to the gallon, but the average speed is 20 miles, and that's with at least 620 miles. So I'm going to reset this stuff and see what kind of gas mileage I get off of my driving characteristics. Hold in the reset button on the knob. So, all right. We're going to see if I get better mileage. I'm about to replace the spark plug wires. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.